Couples making a big mess in the kitchen this week and every bit of the chaos, food fumbles and culinary confusion will broadcast to millions. Tonight, a couple from Litchfield, Kentucky will be among the 12 recruits in a new season of the Food Network show, The Worst Cooks in America. Brooke Hash caught up with the Grayson County duo to see just how bad it really gets. Picture if you will. Well, that's the fire. All of it, it just disintegrated. Two master chefs. This is not what I thought. The boot camp style episodes include Grayson County High School teachers Kara and Eddie Anderson. Married almost six years, the duo says they live off fast food drive throughs and scrambled eggs from the gas station. Our students, it's embarrassing because we go to the fast food line. They see us more at the fast food line than they do at school. So it yeah. seems like all of our students are like work the register at all of the fast food chains. So they see us sometimes at Dairy Queen twice a day. Yeah, they've attempted to cook, but even boiling water is a challenge. I had boiled some water to sanitize our masks and forgotten that I had left it on the stove. So when we came back, a huge fire in the kitchen called the fire department it was bad. The Andersons admit learning to cook at home would bring back some of the romance and save them money, so they didn't take this experience lightly. And we've never been around that many people who are that eccentric or loud. Our cast is fantastic. Ew, salmonella everywhere! They teamed up under the supervision of chefs and mentors Ann Burrell and Cliff Crooks. I am having a heart attack. To start the competition, the recruits must show off their skills, or lack thereof, by cooking a loved one's favorite dish. And then it's on to the surf and turf. A culinary nightmare so bad you'll be shocked by the kitchen disasters. The Andersons couldn't tell us how far they made it in the competition, but they say they definitely came home better cooks. Season 24 of Worst Cooks in America premieres tonight on the Food Network.